the Declaration of Independence. It's America's birth certificate. And the principles of the Declaration is what was placed into the Constitution of the United States. The Declaration formed the body, the, the basis, the foundation for our American form of government. It's unfortunate that in recent years, so many Americans no longer know anything about our documents. And that's why a number of states across the United States have passed bills to have students recite the most famous 56 words of our national birth certificate. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their Creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, that to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. 56 remarkable words. Louisiana decided they wanted to be one of those states that were having students learn the Declaration, so State Representative Valerie Hodges introduced a bill for students to recite that part of the Declaration. But State Representative Barbara Norton objected to that, said the Declaration is not true. She said those principles weren't true and said it wasn't until the time of Dr. Martin Luther King that those principles and that equality came. Time out. Dr. Martin Luther King, in his I Have a Dream speech, he quoted those 56 words there in Washington, D.C. He believed those words. He believed the Declaration was true, and so did other black civil rights leaders. For example, Frederick Douglass said we should learn the Declaration, that it contained the right principles. And this man, this is Henry Highland Garnett, the first black man to officially speak in Congress. When they abolished slavery in the 13th Amendment, Congress asked him to give a sermon on that occasion. He praises the Declaration of Independence and its principles. It's interesting that black civil rights leaders for two centuries have praised the Declaration of Independence. And now we have folks today who know so little about our history that they think the Declaration is a bad document and they don't want kids to know the Declaration. This is why it's important for every single American to know the principles of the Declaration of Independence.